Chapel Street. We are so excited to be back again this year for D Group. We just have a couple quick announcements here for you in this video. What's up guys, my name's Sarah and I'm a student leader this year at Chapel Street. And I'm gonna be telling you about an event happening this coming Sunday, the 25th. And that event is Community Night. It's essentially a student-led D Group and we will be having testimonies, the gospel, worship, and of course, pizza and ice cream. Um, the goal for this night is to have as many new people as we can to Chapel Street. So your goal for this week is to go out and find two friends that has never been to D Group before that might not know God and invite them to come with you to church. Invite them to come with you to D Group. The night will be geared towards them. And our goal that night is to create a sense of belonging and community that we want to value at Chapel Street. Hey guys, save this day. The fall retreat is going on October 29th to the 30th and we are going to Lake Geneva. Registration is now open and you can register online or using the link in our Instagram bio. Be sure to be checking out our Instagram throughout the next couple of weeks uh, for updates about what to be expecting for the fall retreat. That's all the announcements we have for tonight, but be sure to follow us on Instagram to keep up with all that we have going on. Now over to Tom. Well, hey, thanks guys. Hey, I just wanted to pop on here with you guys for a few minutes tonight, just to share a little bit about what we're gonna be doing tonight in our D groups. And to do so, I wanna tell you a little bit about my grandpa. His name is Raymond, or Ray, and it's actually where my parents got my middle name, and it's where Ashlyn and I got uh, part of the name for our daughter, Raylan. And I've had so many great memories with my grandpa throughout the years. He's an awesome dude. And for the most part of my childhood, they actually lived in a lake in Kentucky, uh, right off of a, of a lake. And every summer, my brother and sister and I would spend quite a bit of time at their house. It was an awesome time, great memories. And I remember they had a really nice pontoon boat. And one of my favorite memories with my grandpa is when he first started teaching me as a kid how to drive the boat. I was the youngest sibling, my older brother and sister. They had a chance to drive before I ever did. So I was always looking forward to that and jealous. And I always had to kind of endure their driving. And I remember the time where it was finally my chance to drive. I'd never driven anything before, so I just remember being enthralled by everything inside the boat, right? The dash, the steering wheel, the little tracker off on the side that would tell you how deep the water was below you. But I'll never forget, the one thing that my grandpa wanted me to focus on, over all those other things, was where I was looking. He'd always tell me to find something way out in the distance and focus in on that thing, to kind of steer the boat and aim toward whatever I found out there. And so I'd find something way out in the distance, right? A pillar on a bridge or something that was way off on the shore, way ahead of us. And that would be the thing that I'd focus on. And what I noticed is when I took my eyes off of that thing out in the distance, right? When I started looking down or looking around, when I would look back up, I'd realize that I was way off course of where I was aiming toward. I'd have to make some pretty serious adjustments. And little did I know as a kid, but there's actually a rule in both air and nautical travel and they call it the 1 in 60 rule. And what it means is if you're heading in a certain direction, and if you're just slightly one degree off, just slightly off of where you're trying to go, after 60 miles, you'll actually be an entire mile off course, a mile away from your desired destination. And on a boat, that might mean that you get off course and hit the shore. I think on an airplane, it could be even worse. And do you know what I think? I think the same thing is true in our faith. If you were with us last Sunday night at D Group Kickoff, you might remember that I introduced our theme verse for the fall semester from 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 7. It says, For we live by faith, not by sight. We talked about how D Group is a place where we want to pursue Jesus, pursue community, and pursue impact. And tonight, what we're going to talk about in our groups is what I'm calling our faith GPS. Because I think that a significant part of pursuing Jesus is really knowing where you are and also knowing where you're heading. Having a target, having a destination in mind and following the GPS. So that's what we're going to do in our groups here tonight. First, we're going to talk about where we are in our life and our faith right now. Like I said last week, we're all entering into this year of D group from different places. And as we seek to pursue Jesus together in community, I think it's really helpful if we know a little bit more about where everybody else is coming from. And so whether you've been in church your whole life, or if you were maybe once far from God and had a radical 180 degree encounter with Jesus, or even if you're just coming to church for the first time right now, and you're just maybe for the first time beginning to explore who Jesus is, I believe that we all have a story to share. And so tonight, you're going to spend some time thinking about your, your own personal life and your own faith story. 
And either in your groups tonight or at least sometime this fall, every member of your group, including your leaders, are going to take some time to share your stories. Because I think it's really helpful to reflect on your story. It allows you to really think about where you are and where you're going. And then sharing your story with your group, that really begins to build that trust that we talk about as we want to pursue Jesus together in community. You're also going to spend time tonight thinking and dreaming and, and really praying about where you want to end up at the end of this journey. If you were to fast forward to the end of the school year, where do you want to see your relationship with Jesus? What do you really want your faith to look like? You'll think through and discuss questions that will help ensure that you're staying on the right path, that you're heading in the right direction, and that you're aware of some of the obstacles that may lay ahead. If you were to fly a plane, or if you were to drive a boat, or even if you were just to set off on a a road trip, it's really important that you take the time to, to really evaluate where you are and then set course toward your desired destination. And so that's exactly what we're gonna do tonight as we talk about our faith GPS. And I really believe, and honestly, I've been on my knees this week praying that this would be a conversation that we look back to at times during the year, and especially at the end of the year. And we're just in awe of how faithful God has been, where we're just amazed by his love for us and his pursuit of us, and where we're amazed just by the things that he's done in our lives throughout this year as we've sought to pursue him. I love you guys. I'm going to pass things back to your leaders now who are going to guide you through the rest of your time here together. And I can't wait to see you next week. Hopefully, some of your friends will come as well to our D-Group community night next Sunday night at Kesslinger Campus. Have a great night, and we'll see you soon.